Okay, this video is going to be about how to uh, the measurements on making one of these spacers. Basically, it's made out of stainless steel. It's uh, what they use for a long straw hive. Um, when you have, when I put nine frames in a ten frame box, and they usually they usually do this after the combs are drawn out. Sometimes they do it. They do it in the supers a lot, and sometimes they do do it in the brood nest for different reasons. You put it in like this here, and just stick it in like that. That's it. You usually have two of these, so you put one on each end, make it a little bit faster for you when you get going along. All the measurements be in inches, because I'm in the USA. The sixteenth of an inch thick, right here. The bend over right here is a half inch between here and here. A little bend over between this point up to this point where the bend is is two and a quarter now across the top it's cut out right here 15 sixteenths I believe the bottom here to here is an inch and a quarter between these two points these little teeth right here that are cut off those are three sixteenths between the bend out and where it goes down to there uh, straight down there is three quarters of an inch and the overall length of this whole piece I'll show you here in a second from where it's flat there to where it's flat way down the other end is 14 and a half total um, I'll lay this down the bench so you will measure the teeth so you can actually make a uh, pattern or whatever. And my suggestion is, if you had this made for you anywhere, would be to find somebody with a water jet to cut it out for you. I believe this one was punched. Um, this one, one, this particular one I have in my hand, was bought at Walter T. Kelly here in the United States, in Kentucky, a bee supply place here in the United States. And it cost me about 20 US dollars. And uh, of course, I had to pay shipping and handling on top of it. Keep the string all the way. And as you can see, I'll go down kind of slowly so you can stop it. And you can actually get the measurements between the teeth. Uh, and I believe this will be the. I'll go sweep back another time so you can uh, actually stop the video and see it and it looks like it's in focus and with this it's the end of this video thank you very much for listening have a great day